Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. I'm the owner and maker of Tumbling with Savannah. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did this um, herringbone and half V split tumbler. Um, super fun. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so I actually made this tumbler a couple months ago and it just wasn't what I wanted. So I stripped it and I was like, let's do it again. So I started off with my stripped 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Crafts. I folded up a piece of paper to form a triangle and I taped that down on my tumbler, which is some masking tape that I got from Amazon. And um, that is going to be my V split. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to form my herringbone pattern and I'm going to use electrical tape with this just because it was the width of the size that I wanted my squares. If you had, you know, your painter's tape or whatever kind of tape you have, use whatever um, without however, like the width you want your squares to be. Um, in that first tumbler I did, they were a little bit wider, so I knew I wanted to go in with a smaller um, size tape talking way too long about the inch of the tape okay so I'm gonna start right up here at the corner and I'm gonna lay down a strip of my electrical tape and then I'm just going to go back and forth now I had to do this a bunch of times I got confused on how to do it and that's how you can see my little tape mess over there um yeah I wasted like an hour of my life um messing up my previous tape lines <laughs> all right so laid down one and then went in on the opposite side at an angle and laid it down again. So basically the way you want to do this is the way I envisioned it in my head is lay your first piece of tape down, have your second piece of tape there, and it's like your first piece of tape wants to be blocking your second piece of tape. That's just how it works in my mind. I don't know about anybody else, but you can see I'm laying down that third piece of tape and my second piece of tape is blocking. It's like it's blocking that path to the third piece of tape. And we're just going to continue that pattern in like, um, not a zigzag. What's it called when you like alter it or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the name for that word. But anyway, um, just kind of, what is it called? It's killing me that I can't think of it. I don't know, guys. But look, I'm just like going in an alternate form and I'm going to go all the way down my cup and that's going to form my herringbone pattern. So just um, take your time with it. Hopefully you guys won't mess it up like I did um, and you won't waste so much of your time taping off an entire tumbler only to realize that you messed it up. But yeah, I'm just going to let this play and this is how I did it. I went in and um, I ended up cutting off the excess just so it would be easy to peel up when I was peeling it up to do my glitter process. So yeah, I just continue this all the way down and then I cut off. It is um, like I put my tape farther than the halfway point just when I was laying this down, um, but I ended up trimming that up later.
so once I got that sectioned all taped off how I wanted it and I knew it was right I took my little circle here and I just um, folded that in half this is how I found the center of my cup and um, we're just gonna lay that down right there in the middle and then I'm gonna take some masking tape and tape off that center divide line I'm just going to go in and double check and make sure that my um, center divide line was even and it was straight down the middle. Um, this was a cup that I was making for myself so I wasn't like too concerned if it was absolutely spot on. Um, if I was making it for a customer I probably would get my measuring tape out and make sure but it was mine so I don't really care. So once I got that down, I'm going to make sure my tape is nice and straight. And then I'm going to trim up the excess of the electrical tape um, so I can go ahead and start my glitter process. Okay, so that was a lot to get here, um, but now we are ready to glitter. And I, if I had used painter's tape, I would have just wrote on the painter's tape with Sharpie, but I went ahead and just um, labeled all of my sections out in my pattern that I wanted. And then I pulled up my electrical tape on like all X amount of whatever um, solid color that we're using. And then we're gonna peel those up and start our glitter process. And so how I wanted to do this was I took some acrylic paint and some Mod Podge and mixed that together. And that is how I applied my glitter.
So when you do your um, glitter, I would start darkest to lightest, um, just so you don't have any like, you don't want that um, cross contamination um, between your glitter colors. Um, I would recommend sealing with a coat of Mod Podge in between if you have the patience for it. Sometimes I don't have the patience, sometimes I do. I don't know, but anyway. Once I got all of my glitter colors um, coated on there, we were ready to move on to our next step. So I let that dry and I gave it a couple coats of clear coat just to seal it all in and then I taped off that glitter section and then I just did a quick coat of this black spray paint and I actually used that spray paint as my adhesion for this glitter um, and I just did like a simple waterfall ombre down that black paint. Um, if you don't have the confidence to spray paint really fast and then waterfall ombre, I've done these a thousand times, so it's like no big deal for me. Um, but you could definitely let your spray paint dry and then go in with Mod Podge or the epoxy method if you wanted more time to work on your ombre. Now, I will say here, I wish I had just left this alone, but I thought, okay, let's add some black glitter. Um, and that was probably a mistake on my part because once you put epoxy over that black glitter, it sometimes like seeks in and I had to go back over with another coat of Mod Podge and work on my ombre a little bit more. So I just wish that I had left the black glitter off of it and just went in with that black spray paint. It still would have looked bomb. So I let that completely dry, gave it a couple more clear coats of spray paint, then epoxied it two times, sanded it, and then epoxied it one more time. So when we get to this point, our cup is completely smooth and we are ready to move on to our decal work. I found this, tri not this triangle, but this image on Google, um, uploaded it to Cricut, cut out um, a triangle using the shape shapes feature, and I just sliced it. And then I printed this off with printable vinyl. You guys could use um, water slide paper, whatever. I just wanted this to be like um, super pigmented. Pigment. I wanted it to be very bright. <laughs> I had not talked today. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I just applied that printable vinyl onto my cup. Um, it is completely smooth at this point, so it's no big deal. And then after that was on there, I trimmed up some of the white bordering. Um, I didn't want to go completely um, and cut that white border all the way off. I wanted to give myself a little um, wiggle room and leeway there. But um, yeah, I just got that on there and trimmed up the white and then we're ready to move on to our next steps.
And I'm very glad that this cup is for me because I was off on my measurements just a little bit with that triangle. So I just went in with some black alcohol ink and covered up the um, top part of that. When I went to go and put um, my thing down and I um, cleaned off the rim, that white was showing through. So I just covered that up with some black. Um, that printable vinyl isn't very um, stretchable and moldable. And so that's why I just go ahead and cut that rim off. Um, but yeah. And then I just cut this out um, in a circle. I just found that image on Google as well. Cut it out using the shapes feature on Cricut. Sliced it. And that was my image that I put on the bottom. And this was one of the quotes from the show that I watched, The Handmaid's Tale. It says, don't let the bastards grind you down. And it's in Latin. I'm not even going to begin to pronounce that. But if you know, you know. I'm a big Handmaid's Tale fan. And this was the inspiration for this cup. And I forgot to record it, but you can also see where I did um, some line work. And I just used that textured um, glitter, textured gold vinyl, whatever. I don't even know what it's called. Textured gold vinyl. I got it off Etsy. Um, I know Tech Right Craft has some, Cricut has some. Whatever you got, you don't have to use the textured stuff. I just thought it set this cup off so well. So I sealed this with a coat of clear coat spray paint just to seal in all my vinyl work. I did not want all my hard work to go to waste. And then I went in with my final coats of epoxy. And we were completely done after this. I think I did like two, maybe three coats. I think it was just two. I think it was just two final coats of epoxy. I probably sanded in between those two, um, but yeah. Just finish it up with your final coats of epoxy and you are completely done. So yeah, if you guys are Handmaid's Tale fans like I am, um, maybe you want to recreate this design, feel free to go for it. If you make something similar and change up the color or the patterns or anything like that, tag me on social media. I want to see all of your guys' creative work. I know you guys are going to rock this. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section. You know I'm going to help you out. Um, join our Facebook group. It's Tumbling with Savannah, Tumblr Makers Community. And we will see you guys very soon. I don't know how many more videos I'm going to be able to make, especially on a, cons on a consistent schedule. Um, I'm getting ready to go to nursing school, so I'm going to be preoccupied. But I'm still going to try to produce some content. It's just going to be here and there. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you guys hopefully very soon. like this video you can check out our last one here and don't forget to follow us on facebook instagram pinterest tiktok we're all over the place and i'd love to see you over there thanks so much for watching